All right, guys. Just thought I'd make a video here of my new bike. Just got it. Just got this baby. About, uh, let's see, three days ago, three days, three, four days ago, something like that. Um, it was on a Friday, but I couldn't ride it. Don't have my license. Didn't even have a temporary dealer tag. They forgot to give it to me when they dropped it off. Um, so all I had to do, or all I could do, was just ride it around the house. You know, the sidewalk that we got going around the house here. That's all I could do is just go around and around and around and around. Uh, but eventually, uh, that proved to be a mistake because the day I got it, it had just got finished raining. And um, I went wide into the grass here, you know, just a little bit. And I couldn't hold it, and it started to slide. And guess what, guys? It dropped. Yep. <laughs> I dropped my first freaking bike the first day I got it. Thank God it was in the grass. And the, the ground was so wet and moist and soft uh, that the bike just sank right in. No scratches. Just a tiny little bit of mud on the handlebar and uh, on the pegs. That was it. I just wiped it off. And thank God it's still just as good as new. I learned my lesson on that one. But since then, though, uh, I've uh, taken it to a parking lot today a couple of times. Drove up and down. Uh, tried to learn cornering and everything a little bit. Turns. Watched a lot of YouTube videos on shifting and everything like that. So, And, yeah, I hope I don't make that mistake again. I'm never going in the grass again in these things too much power and it it was a lot heavier too oh my gosh this thing weighs like 410 pounds uh with all the fuel and everything in, in there and it's it's pretty much full of, of uh gas so 410 pounds i couldn't hold it man and i couldn't even lift the dang thing up by myself that thing's so heavy dude i tr <laughs> i mean maybe because it kept sliding in the grass as i tried to lift it but man i had to get help i'm like i can't get this thing up can you please just kind of foot the wheel there and pull on the handbars as I pull this up? So that's what we did. But anyway, isn't she a beauty though? Man, gosh. 2019 Honda CBR 600 RR. Obviously, see that down the side there. <sighs> Man, it is gorgeous. I love it. I got the, the, I had to pick out a helmet. I had to pick out gloves and uh, a nice jacket here. These aren't the gloves though, by the way. These are just regular gorilla gloves I'm wearing right now. I don't have my riding gloves on me. Um, they're inside. But, yeah, I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but you got the uh, pants. These are like rocket pants. And um, don't have the boots yet. These are just regular um, ankle. Like I mean, they do go up above my ankle work boots. And got the scorpion jacket. So I don't know if you guys can see. It does have like liners inside and everything. So I uh, love my shirt. Anyway, um, yeah, so I had to get all the gear. Um, I actually had to go back and get the pants today because um, uh, I didn't buy the pants at first. Laid the bike down. First day I got it, obviously in the grass, and really messed up my shins bad. So the pants I got today, I made sure that they have pads. Like, they got pads to go from here all the way down to here. So that's good shin guards there. So anyway, um, isn't she beautiful though? Man, I actually got a couple of things on the way here. I didn't have a tarp, and I don't have a garage, so I got to cover it up somehow. Um, like a good tarp. I had a tarp, but I didn't have like a really good one. So I got a new Honda uh, fitted like type tarp, like a red and black one. It was like $117 or something. So I uh, got that, and I've got the uh, bar ends that are going to go on right here in case I drop it in the uh, street again. God, I hope I don't do that. Um... And I also got the um, frame sliders too. These, they say they're non-cut flame uh, frame sliders. So I'll do a video of that whenever I get a chance. And, but my helmet here actually is like an extra large, I got a big old head, um, extra large bell helmet. And it's really nice, I like it a lot. It's, uh, it fits good and uh, here in Maryland, you're not allowed to have any tinted visors or you're not supposed to wear any tinted goggles or anything like that while riding. So I don't have that. Yep. 
So anyway, that's it. It's about, everything's pretty much stock. I haven't done anything to it other than just kind of adjust the uh, that break here. I did kind of move it down a little because it was up really high, like way up here. And I could barely like, like my wrist felt like it was gonna break already leaning forward enough as it is. So I kind of turned them down. You can see the clutch down here is like down a little bit further. Now it's kind of straight instead of up like that. So, and yeah, that's it, man. I love it. Oh, let's see how many miles she's got on it. Let's see. Four miles. Okay, that's because I drove down to the parking lot, did a lot of laps, like five or six laps, came back, and then went back down again and did it again. So, yep, it's only got four miles. I mean, when they had it here, I put those, I put all those miles, four miles on there today. So, <laughs> I mean, when I got it, I had zero miles. So, we're just, yep. And eventually, I'm definitely going to get like a tinted uh, windscreen. Um, something that's still see-through. I thought about getting black, but I heard that if you tuck in, you're not going to be able to obviously see out of it, so I don't want that. So I'll just get something tinted, even though I think all black would look good, but man, isn't, it's just so beautiful. Man, I've never owned a black before in my life, let alone a brand new one. But, let me tell you what, boys, y'all watching this, alright, if you're single, stay single. Believe me, you'll have a hell of a lot more fun. <laughs> All right, I've been in some, I don't want to say plenty of relationships, but just relationships that ended violently. <laughs> yeah, not so well. And was it worth it in the end? Mm, no, not really. <laughs> I mean, they, women these days, I'd hate to make this a topic about women, but women these days just, they're not the same. Arrogant, spoiled, pompous uh, just haughty and everything else you can imagine I that I can't stand in a woman uh, so anyway being single afforded me to get a brand new Honda 2019 Honda CBR so among other things my goodness I have a lot of toys I've got I mean I'm into photography as you can tell I love photography so I have lots of cameras I have lots of telescope gear and um, drones and everything. So anyway, you have a lot of toys. So just stay single, boys. Try not to get tied down. Not these days. Women just aren't faithful these days. And they're really hard to please. So this is what you want in life. If you don't have kids already. And uh, stay single. Thanks for watching.